South Carolina has a variety of symbols, including a state tree, state bird, even a state spider. But a young South Carolinian found one omission and true to the state motto, ready in mind and resource, she set out to fix it. Here's Wyatt Andrews. Eight-year-old Olivia McConnell from New Zion, South Carolina, is so passionate about science, this is Olivia during recess. She's searching for and finding shark's teeth in the playground sand. Why are you spending recess looking for shark's teeth? Well, I like fossils. Her love of fossils led her to discover that South Carolina has no official state fossil. She knew that one of the first fossils found in North America from an ancient kind of woolly mammoth was dug up in South Carolina. So she wrote to Governor Nikki Haley and other state lawmakers to lay out the case. I wanted it to be the state fossil because I didn't want that history to be lost and our state to not get credit for it. Did you feel like you had to do something about it? If something's wrong, I've got to help out. It's just the right thing to do. That's what I'm all about. At the state capitol, Olivia's letter went to her senator, Kevin Johnson, who thought a state fossil was a great idea. I thought it would just, it would just fly through the House and through the Senate, and we'd have the governor to pass with no problem. But then came the roadblock. Several highly religious senators stalled the bill by attaching whole passages from the Bible's book of Genesis. The senators, including Mike Fair, said the creator of the mammoth should be recognized as well. There had to be a cause for the beginning. Uh, it didn't happen accidentally. But Senator Fair now admits he did not understand just who he was dealing with. Olivia and her family pushed back hard. They also believe in the Bible, but they don't want religion attached to a fossil law. Senator Fair and the others were motivated to compromise. You turned on a dime because when you learned this was an eight-year-old girl? The fact that an eight-year-old was doing it was uh, remarkable and something that we sh should celebrate. Right now, the bill remains stalled in committee, but Olivia will not budge, ever. Keep going until, it, until they pass the bill. Maybe it might go until I'm 23 or 40. 23 or 40? But that means you'll be back next year. I will. If it doesn't pass this year, I'm going to be back next year. In the meantime, they can find Olivia out here on the playground digging up history, not yet realizing how a third grade girl facing down the state Senate might have made some history of her own. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Lake City, South Carolina.